in more detail, but the other thing I, I, I tend to, um, you know, I want, I want to make sure it's known is being a beat maker is not being a producer. Being a beat maker is not being a producer. Right. You know, doing, doing beats is not necessarily being a producer. It's a part of producing the record, definitely. But, um, you know, being a producer entails, encompasses all of the, the, the angles and the areas of delivering a completed song to a record company. That's right. what a producer is. You're entrusted with a certain budget from a record company and they want to know that you're going to deliver them a finished product that they believe in that they can market and that they can make money off of. That's, That's what right. a producer does. That's what it is, man. You know, because, yeah. you know, y'all understand. I'm hungry, son. Yeah. I, I don't even want no bling. Well, you know what I walk around with? I walk around with a chain with a fork on it because I'm hungry. I'm just keeping it, keeping it real, keeping it like that. Got so, it. So, now, projects that you're working on now. Name some of the artists that, that, that you're really working on now. I mean, I know we, are, of course, you know, The Tank, because we heard that at the beginning right. of the show. Who are some of the artists that you're working on? Uh, just, actually, I just completed Avant. I have five or six records on his new album. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I actually have the first single, which is a song called When It Hurts. When It Hurts, okay. Um, and possibly the second single, but we'll see. Let's we'll cross our fingers for that. Um, right now, in the process of writing for Brandy, Come on, Brandy, Brandy. Yeah, Brandy, Brandy. Brandy, come on back, Brandy, Brandy. One of my personal favorites. You know, big shout out. You know, I hosted the, uh, yeah, the what's the name with her, the uh, Bonner Brothers, me and her, you know, giving away flat screens and stuff. That's what we do. Right, right. right. Me and you, Brandy. <laughs> you know us, you know. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah, so, um, Brandy, um, we're also, I'm doing some stuff with Babyface. Um, Jeez. Uh, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, he's, he's back in. I'm going in. Usher, Usher's actually in the process of um, recording again. He's gone okay. back into the recording process. Okay. Uh, man, there's a couple of new groups that are coming out. This group called O and E mm -hmm. and um, so, several groups. As, as you can see, he got his hands in everything. Yeah. So what? Like I said, man, this is a two-part show. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna interview him. You will actually see him doing his thing. So please tell a friend is on the groove zone. This is something that you really want to do. Some people think that you can just use a Radio Shack beat or do whatever to become yeah. famous. No, you have to really put in the time and the effort, just like you had to do if you're a basketball player, right. if you want to be a lawyer, a doctor. Everything it takes a lot of practice. You got to get in there and you know put your heart into it. So that's what we're gonna do, man. You gonna you gonna let us show us some more of this stuff and. Absolutely. See you working, you know what I mean? Just this it is. They got flat screens and stuff. You know, tell a friend that's on the grooves on. They got everything. Let's check it out. Yeah. What's his what's his button do? What's his too do? much? Too much. All right. <laughs> First, make sure you got a passion for it and that you love it. You got to love it with everything in you because you're going to go through so many hard times and so many difficult things that your love for it is what's going to drive you past all that. Um, make sure that you're skilled at what you do. Um, and one of the things that I, the advice that was given to me by Quincy Jones was um, become a master of all trades. You know what I mean? Don't just try to do one thing. Try to become good at everything because you want to be able to, you know, um, when, when a particular sound or a particular thing isn't hot, you want to be able to keep, up, keep, keep being able to work and have people being able to you know, give you a call and make sure that you're still working. And, um, you know, so like one of the things I've always tried to do is I've tried to be a lover of music first because I wanted to make sure that I like, you know, I did pop, R&B, country, gospel, hip hop, you name it, because you know, to me it's all about the love of music. And, um, if you do that, keep God first, nothing you can't accomplish so make sure you do that you know the sky's the limit from there yo yo what's up it's tone um it's about i guess 1 15 something like that in the morning and, you know we up here in the studio doing what i do and you know just trying to make some magic hopefully come up with something that you guys will enjoy and um 
you know, hopefully try to create some classics. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, but, you know, just to parlay off what we were talking about, um, we were kind of, what for those who don't know what we were talking about, we were talking about, you know, the struggles you have to go through to get to, you know, the point of some success in this music business. And um, what I was telling, what I was telling Seb was, you know, part of the journey you have to do alone is one of those things where, um, you know, you have to, you, like I was saying before, you really got to love this thing. You really got to um, have a passion for it because you're going to deal with so many different obstacles. You're going to deal with some haters. You're going to deal with naysayers. You're going to deal with people who don't believe it's going to happen for you. And, you know, people that are going to think that, you know, your dream is too far-fetched and all these different things. And everybody has, you know, and sometimes they don't even mean to hate, but that's just what happens, you know. But you, you really got to have that drive to say, you know, this is what I love to do. This is, this is my heart. This is... And I almost got to say, you know, the way I look at it, because I come also from a spiritual perspective, I look at it like, look at what your purpose is, you know, this is one of the things that you've been blessed with, if you've been blessed with a talent or a gift, and it lines up with one of the things that God has for you, you know, um, pursue it with wholeheartedly, because if that's the case, you're not going to be stopped, there's no way you can be stopped, um, you know, it's just a matter of time and opportunity and maturity, really. Um, but that's pretty much, the, you know, some of the things that I've done. I, I, I went from, you know, doing beats in the basement and, you know, trying to master plucking out. I, the way, it's funny because the way I started doing other, learning how to produce tracks was by trying to emulate other people's songs. Like I would listen to like, Can You Stand the Rain or whatever. And I would sit on my keyboard and try to bang out and learn the chords. And not just the chords, but the different instrumentation and all the li different things around the song just to try to make it sound. I wanted to make it sound just like the record. So I used to do that kind of thing all the time, and that's when I realized and learned how to develop my, you know, okay, well, this is where this goes, and they use the guitar here, and they use this, this, and, and then, you know, you kind of formulate your own little sound and develop it that way, but, um, you know, that was part of the journey that I went through, and, you know, it's one of those things where it's hard to, sometimes it's difficult to give people advice on what path they should take, because sometimes their path is going to be different than my path or whoever's path that they should take, you know, and again, when you deal with naysayers and you deal with too many opinions, sometimes it can stunt your growth and it can stunt your progress. So you have to be really, really careful who you share your dreams with and know that, you know, you've got to get in. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but when that hard work meets opportunity, that's what most people call luck. You know, that's what they call their big break. I say when hard work meets opportunity and the talent is there, because, the you know, your opportunity is going to come. That's just a matter of what you do with that and with that situation. So... You just got to be prepared, you know, and, and if, you, if you're prepared, the sky's the limit for you.